Welcome to Endoscopy on Air. Watch Philip Chu and the diagnosis of early esophageal cancer. This is the endoscopic image. And uh, if you can see, this is the ordinary uh, white light uh, from this processing. The processor is composed of uh, having the uh, LED light and uh, it can be changed to another mode, uh, so-called the TXI mode. So this is the white light endoscopy mode. So now I'm changing to the TXI mode. This mode helps to enhance the uh, background arch architecture. It has the advantage of uh, detection for uh, early lesion because if you compare this uh, image to the ordinary white light, you can see that the background architecture and the structural uh, arrangement is much enhanced. So it will give you a uh, better visualization of the background and then helping you to uh, detect irregular or abnormal area. So now I am uh, inserting my scope. Okay, uh, I'm now inside the uh, larynx. Okay, so uh, perhaps uh, the uh, laryngeal image will also be enhanced by this uh, TXI. So this is the ordinary white light, but if we change to the TXI, it's uh, enhancing the architectural and also the vasculature pattern. So now I am uh, inserting my scope passing through the uh, critical fringes. And uh, now I'm with the uh, TXI mode. So here you can see that there's an irregular um, lesion in the esophagus. This is located at the 23 centimeter from the incisor. So uh, I think we can also compare if we are using the uh, current white light. And if we look at the uh, TXI mode, I think the margin of this lesion it's uh, well enhanced with the use of the uh, TXI uh, as compared to just the ordinary white light. So maybe for this lesion, there's not a significant difference because it's already a protruded uh, lesion. But uh, I think for the fat lesion, maybe it's better detected with the TXI mode. So, and um, so it's, so it's it as the ordinary what we are doing. Yes, it's much brighter because it is using the uh, LED light. And it has also got the um, MBI mode. So you can see the ordinary MBI that we are u very used to. And if we are changing it to the uh, dual focus mode, then we can actually observe the IPCL pattern here. So Phil if you look you into the center part, yes? F Philip, do you think that TXI may come a new white light imagining? Yeah, I'm, I think so. I think so. I tend to think so. Uh, I think that would enhance the detection process and help us to find more early lesion. But uh, if you look into this uh, MBI mode, then you can see there are irregular IPCL pattern. Uh, some of them are actually non-loop uh, pattern at the center. And uh, also, I think uh, with the nodularity, if you look it, at this image, you can see a fake band. Uh, non-loop image uh, compatible with a JES B3 pattern. So I think this tumor already indated to the submucosa or even a little bit beyond. So, so this is uh, the uh, observation with the uh, MBI. And uh, so we now change uh, back to the uh, TXI mode and uh, we continue our observation further down. So I think uh, in this area, so again, we may be able to observe some other irregular changes here. At this area. So usually I would uh, do this uh, surveillance by using the MBI, but I think if I have the TXI mode, I would rather use the TXI mode to complete uh, the uh, surveillance endoscopy for the esophagus because uh, that actually enhanced and that would, uh, especially on the uh, vasculature and the architectural uh, appearance. So Philip, so looking at this first yes. lesion, which has a sessile component and this thick long vessels, do you think that this lesion is suitable for endoscopic resection or we should say? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, for the first lesion, there's uh, already nodularity and also a presence of the thick band non-loop pattern. I think this is uh, more like a submucosal invasion, so it shouldn't uh, be appropriate to treat by endoscopic resection. 
Well, I think here I observe another area. So um, that may be compatible with a earlier appearance of a esophageal dysplasia. Uh, we have a digital zoom, so we may be able to zoom in a little bit more. And if you look into this uh, IPCL pattern, it is compatible with a dilated loop pattern. So irregular dilated loop pattern. It may probably be a B1 uh, JES classification of IPCL with a distinct border of this lesion. I think it's more compatible with a dysplasia. So of course, we uh, generally would be able to observe a skip lesion in a patient with a high risk factor like a chronic smoker and drinker. So that will help us to stage the disease better. So for this patient, uh, physically he's not very fit uh, because of the road traffic accident. So uh, we are planning to uh, uh, give him a primary chemo radiation therapy for treatment of the uh, esophageal cancer. So, but then you can see this uh, a distinct border with the MBI mode uh, under the new processing system, the, uh, the XI system from Olympus. Okay, so, so another yes, so feature this is, is the that... Light. Another feature yeah, is, is that the you have this background brownish discoloration, yeah? Uh, apart from IPCLs, thickened IPCLs, you have this brownish discoloration. Exactly, exactly. So this is the uh, TXI mode. If you look at the TXI uh, versus the uh, white light, and I think it's uh, more enhanced uh, to look at this uh, abnormality. And uh, then we can go in to uh, make a diagnosis by performing the uh, MBI. So I think this is a one-step process. So it seems that this okay. TXI is also enhances like a surface so that we can better see whether the lesion is depressed or elevated or completely flat. Do you agree or not? Exactly. 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 Okay. So I think, uh, so this is again the tumor. So our plan is a chemo LT. Histology showed squamous cell carcinoma and it was decided that the patient undergoes neoadjuvant chemo radiation. Here you see the instruments and devices used, and this is Philip Chu's recommended reading.